What's up YouTube? Back again with another new video. So for those of you who have been longtime subscribers, you may remember that quite a long time ago I did a denim jacket collection video. Now the vast majority of those jackets, with the exception of I believe two, uh, have now been sold uh, since that time period. So I figured why not do another one of these since uh, I kind of changed it up quite a bit since that last video. And I was actually going to put off doing this video until I got one more jacket, but I guess uh, whatever, fuck it, I'll just do it anyway. But yeah, so I will be trying on every single jacket in this video and pretty much just going over them. So let's just get started. Also, I had originally planned to shoot all the try-ons outside, but it is very hot right now and I don't want to be wearing Sherpa jackets in the blazing heat. But speaking of that, we are starting off with the first one, which is this Levi's Sherpa jacket in this nice light wash color. Now, why I'm personally a big fan of this is I like lighter denim as opposed to darker salvage or indigo denim. And I think this is just the most timeless looking out of all of them. Now, unfortunately, you can only pretty much wear this during fall or winter or unless you're absolutely insane. I guess you could wear it in the spring or summer. I don't see why you would though, because you would probably smell really bad. As you can see, it has the nice cream Sherpa lining on the inside. And for these, I would recommend going true to size. And I would recommend not buying them brand new off the website. You have a much better chance of getting a reasonable price on Grailed, on eBay, at a thrift store. And this is a newer one, which uh, as I mentioned, I bought on Grailed. And I bought it for a relatively reasonable price. Uh, I guess the kid got it for Christmas, but it didn't fit him and he needed a size small, so he sold it. I copped it for really cheap. And one other quick thing to note is if you get one of the Levi's vintage clothing ones or you just get one that was actually made in the 70s, the fits will vary as opposed to the new ones. So that's just something that I would recommend keeping in mind when you're shopping on Grail or eBay. But overall, this is a really sick jacket. Uh, I can only wear it during certain seasonal time periods, obviously. And I think I've only worn it two to three times, which kind of sucks, so I didn't really get too much use out of it, but I will be wrapping it in plastic and keeping it in the closet until next fall. Next, moving on to the next Sherpa jacket, it is the black Sherpa that I got as a gift. Uh, once again, a size medium, and like I said, go true to size on these newer Sherpas from Levi's. And yeah, it's pretty much your same jacket, except this time it has like a dark gray and black lining on the inside. And one thing that I actually really like about these jackets is that they do not have silver buttons. I usually don't like the way a lot of shiny silver buttons look on denim jackets, so these nice dark ones are definitely a great touch and maybe something that's not really talked about all that often. But overall, once again, another great Sherpa jacket, but I won't be using it for like another five or six months, which does kind of suck. And moving on to the third jacket, we got the Commune jacket, which was in my original denim jacket video. And this one does have some pretty low-key distressing, which is good because I don't like anything with huge rips or holes in it. It's just personally never been my thing. Uh, I think I've had this for seven years or so. And I looked up on this brand recently and they no longer make men's clothing. They only make women's clothing now, which I thought was quite interesting because I really liked a lot of their trucker jackets. And I actually had another one, which I unfortunately got rid of just because it, it was like a waxed black jacket and although I liked it I did not like the way it looked on me but here's the key thing I like most about this is it has these nice black buttons uh, they're kind of like a matte color and you never see this really on any other jacket from like something like a fast fashion chain you never see that you usually see some cheap flimsy buttons or like some normal shiny silver buttons which like I said I'm not too big a fan of but these black ones are really sick and overall, for kind of a darker wash, it does look pretty good. I would only wear this though in like the fall or winter. This color doesn't really vibe well for me in the spring or summer, and it is a bit heavier than uh, other jackets that I've had in the past. But if I do find any of these online, I will be sure to link them to you if you guys are interested. You'll probably be able to find these for between like $30 to $70 if you're lucky, but yeah. Uh, next, moving on to another one. This is another commune denim jacket, except this is a kind of like, okay, you guys tell me. My girlfriend said this is like a military olive green. I highly disagree. Look at this. Doesn't this look more like a sandstone color? Like not cream, but kind of like a sandstone beige color. 
Uh, this reminds me of that fucking thing with the with the dress. Like, what color was the dress? But now, someone seriously tell me this because I had two people tell me this was green, and this is not green. Okay, this is not green at all. But anyway, this also has the really nice black buttons on it, which is something that I really like. And funny enough, this fits a little different compared to the denim jacket that I just showed. I'd say this has more of a nice fitted look while the other one kind of has a nice loose look, but it kind of just depends on the, the overall aesthetic that you want. If you guys are going to buy this, because I think there are some of these on eBay right now, I personally would recommend true to size. And for the other one, maybe size down, but it depends on the look that you're going for. But yeah, really sick jacket. This is a colorway that I would recommend buying for the spring if you can find one that's a thinner jacket. Uh, I know Levi's makes some. Uh, you could probably get one at like Forever 21 for real cheap. So that way, uh, if it is bad and not as good quality as something like this, uh, it won't really matter because it'll only be like 20 to $30. But yeah, uh, if you guys can find this or if I can find it, I will be sure to link it in the description below. Next, moving on to this one right here, which is actually the last one. I know not too crazy big of a collection, but this one's actually new. Uh, I got this off Grailed, and I wasn't sure how it was going to fit because I thought it was going to be like a 2016 or like one of the more modern Levi's products, but it actually fits a bit cropped, which I kind of like. And it is a very similar color to the Sherpa that I just showed. This is a size medium, just like all my other denim trucker jackets. And the sleeves are actually a little wider on this. They kind of fit a little baggier, which is actually pretty good for the spring or summer. This is probably the only denim jacket I have that I can actually wear during the uh, warmer months for like a, maybe like nighttime or something. But this is personally my favorite wash. It also has the darker buttons as opposed to the lighter colored buttons, which like I've said throughout this whole video is a much better look. And yeah, you could probably find a lot of these at a thrift store if you guys are lucky because I know these get picked real quick. Uh, on Grail, there are some pretty decent finds out there. Uh, size smalls, mediums, larges, XLs, you could probably find it all and for a relatively good price. Like, I think I got this for 30 or $40 shipped. I don't quite remember off the top, but it was a pretty good deal in my opinion. And I'm starting to think that this might be from like the early 2000s like it's not super it's not like a vintage jacket by any means but it has that vintage fit to it and the tags are different than um both of my newer jackets which are the sherpa ones so if anybody knows where they like what time period they think this is from it's obviously not 70s or 80s just judging by the way the pockets look but yeah if you guys do know if this is like 90s or 2000s uh let me know because it does look quite different from the other two but one thing I would recommend as far as denim jackets for the spring or summer, and this is me going off on a little tangent, is I'd suggest getting something that's not oversized, something a little cropped like this, or just a little shorter, and something that's the, the sleeves are a little wider because I don't really think you want something real narrow on the sleeves because when you get a denim jacket that has really kind of fitted narrow sleeves, it doesn't look good in shorts, but something that has kind of baggier sleeves but with a shorter length, looks a lot better for the spring in my opinion but you guys let me know what you think uh also thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers uh it happened on sunday and i honestly can't believe it thank you guys so much uh i will be doing a live stream or i will be doing live streams on instagram i know i did like two at night uh within the past like five or six days i don't recall yeah it was like on saturday and sunday and a lot of you guys enjoyed that I uh, will pr probably finally take my Instagram off private. I know a lot of you have been telling me to do that. So that way, like, it can be way crazier on the live stream. Like, we can have more people on it. So I, I am taking that into consideration. But, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for 50K. If you have any questions about any of these denim jackets, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And, oh my god, I forgot. I will be doing a for sale video probably real soon and if you guys are interested in any of the products for those once that uh, once I make that video DM me on Instagram don't email me DM me on Instagram so yeah thank you so much and peace out YouTube as soon as I step in the ID white hoes be popping the mileage sniffing the coke and blowing the mileage but Kenny ain't on that influence talk about what a nigga been do talk about what a nigga been do